the 25th episode of Nietzsche Joe. So close. We're so, so, so close. I'm a little sad, but a little happy, you know, because we're we're right at the end and I feel like we got some good stuff coming for us here. Only one real thing left on my wish list, I think, for this series, and it's just for Nano to have her a fun time with her friends, you know, maybe an outing together or having people come over or something along those lines, but in, in a setting almost that she feels a little bit more natural, like she feels a little bit more comfortable and she's not like not everybody's paying attention to Hagase instead of her or something. You know what I mean? Like something a little bit more focused with her, I think would be awesome. So that's kind of all I'm really desiring a little bit going forward. This series is going to be done on my end by the time you end up seeing this. Uh, there might be a poll up right now. Check the community tab on the channel for the replacement of it. There, It might have already passed. You might have missed it. It might not even be up yet. I don't know. Uh, but just give that a look and it'll be there eventually <laughs> at some point. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy though. If you like it all, hit the like and subscribe. Do me a lot to me. Feel free to stick around for the discussion. Let me come to this episode or series. Let's get going with episode 25. Oh, no. 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 It's a good opportunity, regardless. She's reflecting on it all. She realizes everybody else is saying it, too. <laughs> My bad. Mm, poor guy. He's going through a lot, you know, but his goat's sick and some other stuff's going on, you know. Are <laughs> you waking him up? No! Yeah, now you better feel bad. Yeah. But of course, he's not going to make you feel that bad. Mm. It's actually funny how he gets blown up constantly by her. And shot, and he doesn't bleed. <laughs> she knows when she touches glass. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm just getting new ones. <笑>そう、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、
is a lost cause, yeah, and we just feel bad instantly. Her <laughs> life is over. What if she goes on the attack, though? That'd be fun. She's gonna miss the whole conversation where he talks about them being for show. Because you're walking away too early. Right. Come on, Mio. To be fair, Mio never makes the effort to talk to him, though. No. <laughs> Buy us some time. Mio! But she doesn't get cut from that. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Launch herself. Oh my god. We're going home. You guys keep it up though, you know? No! Oh, his hair. This is so fucking extra. I say that, but like, it's the type of show, you know, we know this. <laughs> no, Mio! No! <laughs> Come on, Yuko, you got this, you got this. She's gonna save me. Oh, that's it. I thought that was you. <laughs> I thought that was you <laughs> struggling. <laughs> or else there's a drowning kid in it. It's alright, Mio. I hope not as distracting the teacher well, because they're, <laughs> they're going to take a while. A hero. <laughs> forgive him. No, 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 forgive him. <laughs> what did I do? I thought you saved them. So... Yeah. Awesome. I love this coming back. <laughs> I have to. <laughs> what did you realize? No. No. Hey, I think she'd be good at it. Actually, she's bad at anything with rules. We we did learn that. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad she got to let it out with a laugh. <laughs> Why they brought the teacher? <laughs> mm -hmm. Now listen, I get it, I get it. But now that should make you want to really push. You should go make your 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 move now, you know? Lay out your feelings. You're trying to blend in as a kid. <laughs> <笑>ますます秘密を知りたくなったぞ。死の目なの。うーん、しかし深追いも危険か。また明日尾行することにして今日のところは引き上げ。Oh no. Oh no. Do not let her inside. Do not let her in. 
It's not gonna end well regardless for her, but just don't let her in. <laughs> Save yourself the trouble. Except it's just a hoe and a child and no blueprints. Oh, the boys. The boy. He kind of is. I forgot we made him, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> wow. そういうことも考えて、ヤギで投稿してきていたのか。ぬかせ。うわ。今は、おっしゃいますねだ。いや。そのおかげで家に侵入できたのはいいが、<laughs> <laughs> That is smart, that is smart. I never know. You could be surveillance in there, you know? Something waiting to come out and get you? Could be a gas coming out from it, you never know. You do gotta be worried. It's definitely safer than anything that you make, uh, I gotta be honest. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys would be a great pairing, though. <laughs> <笑>私が深く知りたいというのはだな。あの、博士。え、今、博士って言わなかったか。いや、いやいやいや。こんにちは、博士です。何を言いました。ショルダー、ブロック。あ、作って。ちょっと、セイバー。この子供が。Right, <笑> They're everywhere. They are everywhere. Where are you gonna go? You don't stand a chance. That's over. Mm. That's a smart one. Alright. Or you could have just let them follow you and wait until they went back, but yeah. Except there might be traps along the way, you gotta be careful. <laughs> Forgot about him. No, they. <laughs> Not the glue. <laughs> she got lost. It does, it does. It does, I remember this. Newfound life as a bald man. Oh. Those are her pets. <laughs> she's tamed them. And she's talking with other people. That could be the case. <laughs> yeah, there's no way that you did do it. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I don't have any ideas either. What would she like? The opportunity to clear up her misunderstanding? Maybe. I don't think so, though. <laughs> Gotta blend in. <笑>何やってんの<笑><笑> Because you won the grand prize of vacation. <laughs> what is it? Mm. Thank you, Mai. What did they give her? Oh, <laughs> that's so her. That's so her. Oh, that's so sweet. Such a cute ending. Oh, we were over. Never mind. <laughs> <あ、すまんな>。<laughs> <laughs> A shame. That was the sweetest thing ever. That's that, that was so great. That's such a good way to wrap everything up. I didn't know what they were going to put on it. I was trying to think of what it could have been. I, I just assumed we were going to play more into a joke, but they did something extremely cute. And now I feel all... Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know how to feel. They started hitting a little bit, you know? And you think about it. Everything that they've kind of been on all the way up till this point, right? And just even the way that they mess around and kind of treat each other <laughs> as friends and they don't get along too well. And even, you know, through all the disputes and everything that somebody like, you know, Mio has gone through, especially with Yuko and the way that they kind of act out together. <laughs> especially, I mean, we literally had, what, a couple episodes ago, her making her comic and completely ruining it and just lashing out and ruining it and, you know, all these names and everything. But it's like, despite all the things that they kind of go through, just how important they are to them and how how much you still want to go out of your way and do something for that other person it's so sweet it really is it's such a perfect thing to do it's so simple but it's like letting them know like even though she's acting i mean we don't know it seemed like she was completely fine in the process right but it also could just be like displaying and covering using that mask almost that you need to tell yourself you're okay and distract yourself and, and put on this brave face when you're actually not and then we don't really know how you are when you're actually you you know behind closed doors when nobody else is around when you're all alone when nobody else is observing or looking at you but you're gonna act in that situation and they, we don't, we don't know that for sure, right? And we can only make assumptions based on things that we see or what we kind of know about that person. But her friends and the people extremely close to her, especially Yuko, in the situation, thinking, thinking back on, you know, who she is or, or how she kind of acts and wanting to just do something for her, even if that isn't the case, you know, even if she is completely fine and she's not like a little bit of a mess about this possible misunderstanding and everything that she could have uh come into encounter with which she doesn't even know is a misunderstanding to begin with we end up seeing her you know having her friends in the system that actually can just let her know something like that like they're, they're just they're here for you you know if you need something we're always going to be just trying to cheer her up and that's, that's so fucking sweet 
That's so good. And they all had their own way of just, you know, uniquely kind of going about it and doing it together, handing out the reward, kind of congratulating her and very much showed their personalities. You don't need to see who is behind the mask because we could just we could easily tell and we could also see she was easily able to to pick up on that no problem as well ah it's so fucking good it's so excellent girl's an absolute mess dude absolutely forced into having to go talk to sasara here not just talk to him but wake him up in this this moment you know he was going through some stuff he fell into sleep and she breaks his glasses. It's so fucked up. But of course, being the gentleman that he is, he's he's least concerned about that. We end up finding out later. <laughs> There's no reason for him to be concerned about it because he doesn't actually need them. But uh, not concerned in the slightest, of course. And more so worried about her and her her safety and well being, especially in this moment. I love her her bold move, right? Taking it on upon herself here. Let me let me be your eyes for this moment when absolutely is not needed, right? Give walking a chance. <laughs> Not needed in the slightest, because uh, of course he doesn't, and he just doesn't question it. He just goes along with it. Just like I don't, I don't understand. Poor Mio in this moment, having to view on and see this a disaster. Of course, finding out uh, I gotta go to the bathroom, and her willingly being like, "I'll go with you." <laughs> uh, not needed at all. Looking like the cart titan on the ground. <laughs> Blow it up the school, of course. Not cool. Mio, a disaster after finding out. Doesn't know how to react at this moment. Completely destroyed and runs away. I love her breaking through. I just love breaking through the window, destroying the glass. No cuts or anything on you. But of course, the other girl has to end up getting that. <laughs> and her ultimate escape back out here, doing some insane shit along the way. Perhaps with Yuko, though, being able to keep up with her. In the process to <laughs> fly it along. She's able to rescue this kid. I literally thought this was Yuko drowning. I, I can't believe it, but completely somebody else. You never know, you know, the things, the miracles in life that can kind of come out of these situations. Plenty of misunderstandings and plenty of things, but keep your head up and keep moving forward and things are bound to come, you know? We find so many things that she's kind of given in this moment too. You think that you lost everything at the same time, but instead you you save someone, you keep a life. You know, you, you get forgiveness from the police, <laughs> get away from the crimes and things you've committed in the past, and you gain somebody as your possible mentor if you want to have a boxing career. <laughs> There's so many excellent things. And I, I love that she's able to just, well, she got the kite too, but I love how she's able to just break, you know, the smile and, and laugh a little bit afterwards, reflecting on things a little bit and kind of just let it out a little bit and have some fun in the moment. I think that's great. I also like how they got the teacher here. Uh, they just brought everybody along. They literally said the distractor. <laughs> they drag everybody along. I like here too of us seeing like them as they were running uh, in the process. Awesome. We have to end up going to her house and why this happens. Fucking science teacher's insane for this. I, I love this. This entire uh, sequence is so good to me because we bring so many things back from the past from however many episodes and throw it all kind of into one which is so excellent. We end up bringing, what's his name? Biscuit number two or whatever. We end up bringing the boy back here. And then we bring back all the things. Of course, she's like alert of like, ah, I don't know what this is containing. I don't know what's going to be here. This must be some high-tech facility and all this stuff. Uh, and then we end up like, we bring this back, of course, but oh, it could be viewing me, which is, you know, from the design and everything that they kind of make out of it. There's like so many slight little like references and things that we end up keep bringing together. Not on misunderstanding and thinking that the teacher wants a relationship with her. <laughs> Both of the panic. I love, I love her being like, oh, I'm professor. I made <laughs> be like, what are you doing? You can't just tell people that. Sakamoto, of course, coming back. We saw a skit with this earlier. And once again, we bring something along those lines back. And we have to find a way of distraction, a way to get out. Of course, we run into the boy. And then we bring the super glue back. Another thing, once again, how do we do it with the water? But we're yelling to each other and nobody can hear. Really excellent. I love this. <laughs> You forgot it, or the both of the bugs on each side. Mew interacting with some other girls, which is nice, you know, never really see that. But of course, they're all looking on her broken heart. What is it, really? And trying to figure out exactly what they want to do. This is insane. <laughs> My is insane. Uh, and trying to just cheer her up, which is the absolute sweetest thing. We put on a little act, a little display here. We all have our own things. Not now, of course, because of her key, but you can just tell with the way that they react and act in all the situations. Her big old very smile when she sees it too. Getting the statue and everything they get carved. And then all of them looking on. Look how happy they all are looking on and wanting her to, to see this and just wanting to see if it worked out. You know, making sure that she's okay. And I love them all pulling back and, and my being the one who takes forever to notice what everyone else is kind of doing. Reflecting on some wise words 
and then we get absolutely adorable. So, so excellent. So excellent. Overall as an episode up there with one of my favorites, if not, but we'll have to, we'll have to give that some time and see, but so excellent. Absolutely phenomenal way, especially to end it off, but also the bring back of many references that develop a lot of stuff uh, at its core a little bit, having some growth within, you know, the the relationship with uh, Sasahara and whatever the other chick's name I can never remember. Uh, and having like, not that there's actually probably anything going there, but more so just having her like build up some more coverage and move forward a little bit, having some more confrontation between Mio and her, like her own feelings and actually having to face against that and realize, you know, it's not the end of the world, regardless of the situation and also reestablishing a lot of her friendship also developing and bringing back references and stuff with the uh the household there with nana which is ah uh, everything it was so good everything was, was so excellent they also had a lot of like uh in between skits like little ones that were very short that were all had like very funny moments about them so good actually excellent i hope you guys enjoyed nearly as much as i have if you liked it all hit the like and subscribe to me a lot to me feel free to check out the reason channel and comments with this episode series I will be back for episode 26, our finale of Nietzsche Joe very soon. I hope you guys have a fantastic one. Peace.